Um, I think we might start recording startings to the video as well as endings. Or do you want to do the was ending it, before oh, the start? Do you do, do you want to do, oh, do, you want to do the time. end? Yeah, next time. <laughs> Did you want to do this bit and put it at the start of the video so people know what to expect and can look forward to it? So we could put this, this is our ending, but we could put it at the start. Okay, so you put it at the start and then you could ask them to go and put, tell us what you think in the comments below. Yeah, tell us how shit it was. <laughs> Whether you don't, you want to don't want to watch to the end and watch the chat in rubbish. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Because some people don't want to watch the chat as rubbish. No. Watch I, I like the chat in rubbish. But if we put it at the start, you've got no choice. You've got to watch us chat yeah. in rubbish, haven't you? Because you know? there are other couples that chat at the beginning and then. Do they just... chat rubbish? Well, <laughs> put I'm you not, on the spot. I'm not going to put yeah because I'm, I'm I forget names and boats and people. Okay. But some people chat at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, and some chat and at some the end. some chat at the end. Some do both. And yeah. Yeah, some do so both. It's, uh... So anyway, we came off the end of the Ashby. Um, I didn't record it. I did. I was doing a live when I come off the end of the Ashby. So if I can drag a, a video clip off the off the live bit, then I'll, I'll have put it in. Either if I put this at the start, it'll be in in a minute. If not, you'd have seen it already. Depend on where I put this video. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It's, just, but, um, it's like a patchwork. Is that what? It's like a patchwork pa quilt of rubbish. Patchwork kilt. Yeah, patchwork kilt of rubbish. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a patchwork yeah. kilt. So anyway, Ooh. we came off the Ashby and we came into Nuneaton. I managed to fall off the boat. Yes. Uh, bruised my arm and my chest. I only went, I only went in as far as my knees because I managed to grab hold of the side of the boat before I went all the way down. Hence the reason why I've got a bruised arm and a bruised chest. And wet boots. And wet boots. Yeah. <laughs> And then we came through in the neat and that wasn't too bad actually it was quite a nice cruise what, wet boots? yeah with wet with wet boots yeah but coming through in the neat was all right wasn't it, it wasn't too it's bad nice it was yeah, a really nice really day nice. actually we saw a few boats not too many um mm. we saw a couple of old boats from our wharf uh forest oak and iron man i think i've shown you forest forest oak uh pga's old boat uh that's been sold now uh, Iron Man, I didn't get a picture of it because it was tucked up behind oh, the back on the, the drive, so yeah, yeah, it's tucked up out of the way. So, um, yeah, apart from that, and then we stopped the night outside the Anchor Pub, just a bit further down from the pub. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. That was nice, nice and, and quiet. quiet. Yeah, nice and quiet. I met my friend Simon for a few beers. Did another friend? Another friend. Yeah, I have got friends. Mm. Um, Simon's probably one of my oldest friends. Uh, we met for a few beers. I've known Simon since we. Were we, I think he was about 18 and I was about 17, 18, something like that. But yeah, we've, I've known Simon for a long time. Yeah, so we had a few beers with Simon and then we cruised down through Atherston Locks, down past Today. Mansetta and down through Atherston Locks and now we're moored up outside, what's the pub here? King's Head. King's Head. We're moored up on the King's Head moorings now, which the is really nice. menu looks rather yeah. nice. Yeah, menu does look nice. Yeah, it does look <laughs> very nice. So... Yeah. And I've also been able to go to the shops, walking distance. Yeah, yeah. You went to the shops while I tied up and sorted my computer out, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I've had I've had problems with the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi has not been great on board. Um, and I've got one of these boxes that take two SIM cards, and it's uh, the Wi-Fi has only ever run off one SIM card. So today I wired it all up to the PC and pulled my hair out, what hair I have got, and spent half an hour cursing and shouting and. I'm glad I wasn't here. Then. Um. Call, call in the computer something you use to, to stop boats moving at the sea. Held on by a chain, falls off the front of a boat. Rude. Yeah, rude. <laughs> so, but I managed to get it working. Well, I think it's working. It, it, it only uses one SIM card at a time, but then when that stops working, it then switches to the second SIM card and keeps your signal running, apparently. So, we'll see. Time will tell. Right, mind your ears, boys and girls, in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I didn't hear a reply. Right, 
Mind your ears again in five, four, three, two, one. Well, I still didn't hear any reply, so I'm assuming it's clear. Well, I'm going to go into neutral for a second, just slow right down, because as soon as my bum's cleared of the bridge of the junction, I'm going to hard over and power up and try and get round in one. Turned a treat. Makes a big difference when there's no wind pushing you around because it's lovely and still today. Yeah, having no wind makes a big difference. Well, I'm glad I wasn't recording then. As I say, I'm glad I wasn't recording then because I've just slipped in up to my knees. Getting the, uh, the fenders in off the side of the boat, I managed to slip off the gunnels. Caught myself on the top of the boat and held on. I only went into my knees, fortunately. Otherwise, I'd have been up to my neck almost or my waist. Depends how deep it is, but I saved it. I bruised all around my chest as well. All round here, all was all bruised where I hit the side of the boat. So, but all I managed to get was wet feet. Right, let's get cruising, eh? So we're just going to uh, bridge number 20, which is uh, Boot Wharf. So it's always, uh, it's always quite tight down here with boats moored both sides. You can get through, but uh, it's just rather tight. But uh, you'll see, you'll see. Ah, Forest Oak. So Forest Oak here is PJ's old boat back at Swan Lane Wharf. Unfortunately, PJ passed away uh, and his boat's now been sold, I believe.
what you call big balls. So we're just having lunch on the back of the boat. Egg mayonnaise and salad sandwiches. Very nice. Those are those eggs from the palm shop. Were they duck eggs? No, I haven't no. used okay. them yet. Big wind it winding hole here. That's very pretty. I think on, on our left hand side here is where Judkin's quarry used to be. Uh, I think they use it now for um, landfill. Or they used to, I don't know whether they still do or not. Sure, we saw narrowboat Thomas on the uh, on the Ashby Canal. by with my little eye, the Anchor Pub. So we're going to slow down and find a nice mooring, preferably a little bit away from the pub I think.
quack quack. So if ever you're near the Anchor Pub and you're mooring up near the Anchor and you like your walking, there's a walk called the Quarryman's Walk. Uh, and it takes you around all the quarry that's currently on our left hand side here now. And it's a fantastic walk. So if you're ever up this way, Google it and uh, do the Quarryman's. It's an absolutely gorgeous walk. You'll love it. Especially if you've got dogs. It's fantastic. Highly recommend it. Now that's a very interesting looking boat. That looks gorgeous, that does. All wood, all wood down the sides, little wave patterns on the on the top of the gunnels. That's fantastic. Recalcitrant, which is kind of like defiance, uh, defi defiance to law or something. Google it. Recalcitrant. Charlie's sat waiting patiently since he's heard the boat. Waiting for us to catch up. You happy now we've caught up? Yeah? Good boy. Chickens. Bridge 31 and we're now entering the CRT yard. Oh there is this uh like I say there's supposed to be a water point over in the CRT yard and there still is, I can still see it, yeah. It does say you can empty your house on here, or I thought it did, but perhaps you can't, I don't know. So we're just coming to a place called Mansetta, which is uh, an old Roman settlement on the outskirts of Atherston. So this is where Bodicea, or Boudica, whatever you want to call her, this is where she had her last battles around here. There you go, Mansetta Marina. Lovely place. Uh, my friends have got their boat and butty moored here. So you've got bridge number 35 here now, and then just beyond the bridge you've got the Rotham Group. Um, this is where they store all their stuff, all their, their butties and boats and you know tubs and stuff and work boats. The so Rotham Group is a contractor for Canal and River Trust. They've got some fantastic boats here that do various sorts of jobs. It's, uh, it's quite amazing to go past and have a look see what they've got. Diggers and everything. Brilliant. Yeah, big digger on the front of that one, look. And stabilisation legs. Flying boat. Not really flying. That's the best boat name I've seen for days. Far Canal. Yeah, so we're going to moor up the other side here now, get some water, 
empty the rubbish, do all that stuff, and then run down through the locks, and then perhaps stop at the bottom end of Atherston tonight, and stop there for a few days. All right, stand by. Right, lock number one. Cheers. There should be somewhere there then. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, thank you. 
So lock number three, there's somebody coming up, so we're just going to wait for them and then we'll just glide in as they come out. We bounced our way into that one. Do you want your windlass belt? You cross your heart bra belt. Okay. Lock number three. There's no flying into the locks with this boat. Nice and gentle. Afternoon. Afternoon, are we over midday? Yeah, just about, yeah, 20 past. Okay, so lock number four. This one still has its original metal rail as well, look, for the horses when they pulled the boats out. Stop the stop your rope cutting into the rock. They put the metal rail there. Same as on the bridges where they do the rubber strip on the bridge. Same thing. It's nice to see the original rail still there. Look. Charlie, thanks for your help. Good boy. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Take care, buddy.
thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy your, your long expedition yes. by the sound of things. Hopefully we'll see you in about four or five months on our way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. At the end of it, isn't it? Everything else the is... The end, yeah. the beginning. It That's, could be in the middle. That is the end. <laughs> the end. This is the start. <laughs> <laughs> it's the end of the beginning. Yeah, it's the beginning of the end. Oh dear, we're all, we're all bollocks. <gasps> so, blah, right. blah. Is that what you do? You yeah. have to go a beep beep. I'm not going to bleep it out. No, nobody, nobody of any importance ever watches my videos anyway. So, so then, who do you not it? get censored? No, I don't get censored. <laughs> They can't censor me. me. I'm a free narrowboat. You can't censor me. <laughs> I think it's time to go. We're, yeah, we're okay. just talking bloody rubbish now, aren't we? So. Like we always do. All right. Well, if you're at the end, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're at the beginning. We hope you will enjoy it. Either way, uh, <laughs> press the thumbs up for a like. Uh, give us a comment down below. Do love your comments. Ding, 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 Always ding, ding. love your comments. Yeah, subscribe and bell, hit the bell, whatever. Shite. What do people say? Hit the bell. Well, what do you do with the bell then? You, you, you click on it. You don't All hit right. the bell. Do you? Click the bell. Uh, and and share the video amongst your friends, especially if you don't like them. So apart from that, we're off. Okay. See you bye. Yeah. See you bye. <laughs> Have a great day. See you soon. <laughs> Can we watch Heidi now? A proper, no, no, more, a proper vlogger. <laughs> proper vlogger, yeah, I suppose we ought to watch Heidi, yeah. yeah, yeah. See how it's proper. <laughs>